Hey guys, today we will be showing you how to create your own lighting schedule for your Mitris LED. The tool we will be using to do this is called Light Composer. Light Composer is an easy to use multifunctional tool that lets you fully customize the behavior of each LED channel within your Mitris. As we go through the light programming process, you will see that you have a multitude of options which allow you to create and fine tune your Mitris to produce a visually pleasing light output as well as provide the proper spectrum for your coral. If this is your first time working with Light Composer, you will be asked to either load a pre-existing template or start from scratch. Because we want to give you the full experience of working with Light Composer, we're going to begin with an empty project and then build up from there. Our main area of focus will be in the Illumination Run section. For the purpose of this video, we're first going to create a simple 4-point light schedule. Once we do that, we'll then go ahead and send that light schedule to the Mitris. To get started, create your first time point by clicking on New. In the window that pops up, select the time you want this light schedule to begin. Let's say we want this schedule to begin at noon. We enter noon into the time box and set the brightness to 0%. No need to touch any of the LED channels or other options below, because for this time point, we want the schedule to begin at 0%. I will explain those other options in further detail as we go on. With that said, click Apply, and then click New to add another time point. Let's set this one for 1 p.m. For brightness, let's go with 65%. Entering a number into the brightness box, sets the maximum overall LED intensity for that specific time point. Since I entered 65%, the Mitros will run at 65% of its total output. If you want to fine tune the overall brightness, you can always use the slider to the right of the brightness box. If you want to see the changes that you make to the fixture in real time, check the box that says Output Directly on Lamps. At this point, you can begin working with the LED channel sliders and adjust the color for this time point. As you adjust the LED channel sliders, you can see that the estimated color temperature changes. This represents the overall color temperature for the selected LED color mixture. If you want to adjust the color towards the lower end or higher end of the color temperature scale, use this slider. If you've enabled the real-time adjustment option at the top of the window, you'll be able to see the changes that occur as you move this slider back and forth. For even more fine-tuning options, you can always use the chlorophyll A, B, and violaxanthin absorption curves. You can also use a human sensitivity curve to better assist you in your fine-tuning stages. After you've made the adjustments to the LED channels, if you like what you see but want to bump up the light output without sacrificing your tuned spectrum, you can increase the light color output by clicking on this button. If you want to save your color mixture, you can always do so by clicking on the right pointing arrow. If you decide you want to use that exact color, but in another time point, you can always include it by selecting the predefined color and clicking on the left pointing arrow. In the next step, the process here is the same as the last. Set the time point, set the overall brightness, make adjustments to the LED channels, then click Apply. As you develop your light schedule, you will see the illumination run graph change. Keep an eye on this chart and make sure that the last time point is set to zero, otherwise the light will not turn off since it technically does not have an off time. When you get to the last time point, remember to end it at 0% and click Apply. So 
Some reefers like to run a moonlight throughout their schedule. To enable this feature, simply select the first and last time point, set the desired brightness, and then set the desired color. Once your light schedule is completed, transmit these new settings to the LED channels by clicking on Transmit Illumination Run to Illumination Channels. GCC then asks if you want to continue. Click Yes and the settings will be sent to their respective LED channels. GCC then asks if you want to save these changes to the lamp. Click Yes. After that is completed, you can go through and test your settings by using the Test Illumination Run feature. Simply check the box and move the slider to simulate your new lighting schedule. Keep in mind that the Metris by default has the moon phase simulation enabled on the royal blue channel. If you want to disable this feature from the royal blue channel, simply select the channel, uncheck this box, and then resend the new settings to the LED channels. Once you do that, save the settings to the fixture. Last but not least, make sure to save your GCC settings to a file. Thank you for watching this how-to video. To get updates on new video releases, be sure to hit the subscribe button. As always, if you need further assistance, please find us on our GHL support forum or contact us via email at info at